The all new 2025 Ford Bronco is turning heads and shocking people everywhere, and you will be too once you get to know the details. This thing is coming with a bunch of new engine options, a design that's captivating, and a price tag that is as competitive as it can get. Honestly, some of the new upgrades are just absurd, because they're pretty different from what we're used to seeing in Ford cars. So let's not waste your time and get into it. Performance the new Bronco is made to seamlessly blend high-octane thrills with an eco-conscious footprint. From the spirited 2.3-liter 4-banger to the monstrous 3-liter V6, this beast breathes adrenaline-pumping performance. This thing packs a serious punch, churning out a beefy 300 horsepower and a stump-pulling 325 pound-feet of torque. And the best part? It's built like an absolute tank, designed to withstand whatever abuse you can throw at it, ensuring unbeatable reliability and longevity, even when you're really putting it through its paces. And here's the crazy part. These numbers are just for the base model. The bigger one, the 2.7-liter V6 EcoBoost, is a different breed. This puppy cranks out an impressive 330 horsepower and a jaw-dropping 415 pound-feet of torque, making it an absolute must-have for all you off-road junkies out there. But if you're a true adrenaline junkie, the one engine that'll really get your heart racing is the 3-liter V6 EcoBoost, exclusively available on the hardcore Bronco Raptor. This behemoth effortlessly unleashes a whopping 418 horsepower horsepower and a colossal 440 pound-feet of torque, making it the undisputed king of the Bronco family. Both of these beastly V6 engines are paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission that Ford has meticulously engineered for unbeatable reliability and silky smooth shifting, ensuring a driving experience that's nothing short of sublime. And this machine doesn't just face challenges, it actively seeks them out and conquers them with unwavering resolve, all thanks to its impressive all-wheel drive capabilities. And the braking system is steadfast and reliable, like an old friend who's always got your back even when you're pushing the limits. But here's where things get really juicy. Rumor has it that for the 2025 model year, Ford might just blow our minds with an even more upscale Bronco variant, one that's packing the awe-inspiring Predator engine under the hood. For those who don't know, the Predator is a monstrous 5.2-liter V8 supercharged engine that pumps out an eye-watering 760 horsepower and 625 pound-feet of torque. The word on the street is that Ford's going to put this absolute animal into the Raptor trim, creating a Bronco Raptor that'll utterly demolish the Jeep Wrangler in terms of sheer, unadulterated power and performance. Can you imagine? A beast model like that can make the entire automotive world buzzing with excitement. And let's be honest, it's enough to make any gearhead weak in the knees. So if you're a true performance fanatic, you'll want to keep those fingers crossed tight because witnessing this unleashed beast for the 2025 model year would be a dream come true. But here's the thing, fuel economy is a critical consideration for many vehicle buyers, especially with rising gas prices and increased environmental awareness. Unfortunately, the Ford Bronco is not the most fuel-efficient option in the SUV segment, sharing similarities in fuel consumption with mid-sized pickup trucks. The base 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine in the Bronco is the most efficient, delivering 20 mpg. The available 2.7-liter turbocharged V6 is slightly less efficient at 19 miles per gallon. However, the 3-liter turbocharged V6 is the real thirsty one, managing just 15 mpg in the city and 16 mpg in the highway. But for those eco-conscious adventurers, there is one major development that's more than just a juicy rumor. In fact, it's widely expected to become a reality with the 2025 Bronco, an all-new plug-in hybrid version. And let me tell you, this baby is an absolute necessity, especially since the Jeep Wrangler has already jumped on the hybrid bandwagon, leaving Ford playing catch-up. According to the inside scoop, this new plug-in hybrid variant will be based on the 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine, but this time it'll be paired with a robust electric motor and a beefy 45-kilowatt battery pack. This innovative powertrain combo not only delivers ample power, but also boasts exceptional fuel efficiency, giving you the best of both worlds. This thing is expected to generate a formidable 350 horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque, all while achieving an impressive combined fuel economy rating of 28 mpg. But perhaps the most tantalizing aspect of this hybrid model is its projected all-electric range of 40 miles. But here is the thing, although all of this is a great achievement, the real question is how well it performs in the real world, beyond papers. And to know that, we need to dissect one crucial part of the Bronco. 
Now, this is what could make or break this thing, so watch carefully. Platform Every component from the resilient body panels to the rugged suspension system is meticulously engineered to conquer the rigors of the great outdoors, and they call this baby the T6. This is the reason the Bronco is a capable off-road SUV that offers impressive towing performance, but it falls slightly short of being one of the absolute best in this category. The Bronco can tow up to 4,500 pounds, a significant amount of weight that can accommodate a wide range of trailers, boats, and other cargo. However, this towing capacity is not the maximum the Bronco could potentially handle. You see, the Bronco's sturdy ladder frame construction provides a solid foundation that could easily support towing capacities up to 6,500 pounds. This untapped potential means that for the 2025 model year, Ford is expected to increase the Bronco's towing capacity to match or even exceed that of the mid-sized Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. Can you imagine the versatility of having an SUV that can tow like a beefy truck? This upgrade would be a welcome improvement for buyers who want the space and comfort of an SUV while maintaining the ability to tow heavy loads. And that's not all. The frame is also getting beefed up with a 25% increase in rigidity compared to the current model. This means even more strength, durability, and a smoother, more controlled ride. But the most exciting part is the off-road capabilities. The Bronco comes equipped with a host of features that cater to your adventurous spirit. It has skid plates, locking differentials, and all the goodies you need to take this thing into the wilderness. And when you do take this beast off-road, the Bronco's adaptive suspension ensures a smooth and composed ride even when navigating the most treacherous of trails. With generous ground clearance, obstacles become mere stepping stones, allowing you to explore new paths with confidence and ease. And when it comes to configurations, things are staying pretty consistent for 2025. You'll still have the option of a short 100.4-inch wheelbase or a longer 116.1-inch wheelbase for the four-door model. The two-door is undoubtedly a great choice for those seeking a more compact, agile ride, ideal for navigating tight trails and challenging terrain. But let's be real, that shorter wheelbase can make things a bit cramped in the back when it comes to cargo and passenger space. The two-door model offers a maximum cargo space of 52.3 cubic feet, while the four-door model can accommodate up to 77.6 cubic feet. Sure, these numbers are respectable, but may fall short for those who require more storage space. And I know for most people this is enough space, but I want to tell you the cons too, just like we broke down its pros. So let's talk about the details. All the cons and issues while the majority of features of this thing shine with brilliance, there are a few potholes that have yet to be filled. The elephant in the room? The recall. Over 450,000 Broncos have been recalled back due to faulty control modules that could potentially lead to a loss of drive power. And let's not forget the unsettling reports of windows popping out unexpectedly. Safety, after all, should be the top priority. And that's not all. The boxy charm that makes the Bronco so visually striking comes at a cost. Fuel economy struggles and a chorus of wind noises accompanies highway drives, creating a symphony that can be as intrusive as a conversation with Mother Nature herself, which is something nobody wants to experience, but that's the Bronco for you. With a design that pays reverence to its ancestors and practicality that is kind of old and outdated too. And don't get me wrong, the Bronco has undergone a remarkable transformation, pushing the boundaries of what an off-roader can achieve. It's a paradox wrapped in sheet metal, a vehicle that can transport you to places others can only dream of. Yet it's also a constant reminder that even icons have their limitations. It's not just about getting from point A to B, it's about the emotions and experiences that unfold along the way. In essence, the Bronco is as much an emotion emotional choice as it is a practical one. Whether the trade-offs are worth it or not is a decision only you can make. But one thing is certain, driving a Bronco is an experience that will leave an indelible mark on your soul, for better or for worse. But let's talk about one of the reasons why that is. Exterior Design Just one glimpse of the Bronco and it's clear this isn't your average SUV. It's a bold statement, a rebellion against the ordinary. That beefy front grille, flanked by those piercing LED headlights? It's not just for show, folks. It commands attention whether you're cruising down the highway or blazing through the backcountry. And those muscular fender flares? 
They're not just eye candy. They give the Bronco some serious off-road credibility, letting it conquer even the gnarliest terrain like a boss. But that is not all. The Bronco offers practical solutions for carrying gear and equipment with roof racks and cargo carriers. Whether transporting camping gear, kayaks, or bicycles, the Bronco's roof rack provides a versatile and secure way to take your adventures to the next level. This thing proves that it's not just a pretty face, it's also practical. But enough about the exterior, let's move on to another crucial aspect – interior design. Now, I know all of these are pretty much solely dependent on your exact preference, so I'll just lay down all the information for you. You just sit tight and watch. As you step inside this rugged sanctuary, you'll be greeted by seats that embrace you with comforting support, engineered to withstand the rigors of long treks and rugged escapades. The cabin is a vast and serene sanctuary, offering an abundance of shoulder room. No cramped spaces here, folks. We have already talked about the cargo space, which is a bit disappointing, but Ford did a good job with the Bronco's generous seating capacity, ensuring no one gets left behind. Its four doors welcome all with open arms, inviting you to explore new horizons and forge lasting memories. And no matter the terrain or climate, the multi-zone climate control system adapts effortlessly, ensuring that everyone basks in their ideal temperature setting. Whether you're conquering blazing trails under the scorching sun or braving blizzards in the frozen tundra. And as you traverse rugged terrain, advanced driver assistance systems like adaptive cruise control, lane-keeping assist, and park assist act as your trusted off-road co-pilots, vigilantly watching over your journey and ensuring a seamless expedition. Plus, there is an extensive touchscreen infotainment system at the heart of your dashboard, equipped with all the necessities and more. You see, sophistication and ruggedness converge harmoniously in the Bronco's interior, where leather seats give off luxury and wood trim echoes elegance. Because who says you can't have it all? These refined touches elevate the driving experience, giving it a sense of timeless sophistication that complements the vehicle's unwavering capability. But we all know what this means, right? More premium features equal shelling out more bucks. But we need to talk about this in detail, so let's. Price and release date the 2025 Ford Bronco is expected to be released sometime in the latter half of 2024. Sources suggest that it may arrive at dealers in the fall of 2024 with a starting price of around $42,000. But the 2025 Bronco offers a diverse range of trims and configurations to suit your personal style and adventure needs. From the classic boxy silhouette to the more modern streamlined designs, there's a Bronco that will resonate with you. Whether you're drawn to the off-road focus Sasquatch package or the urban chic appearances, this chameleon on wheels adapts to your every whim. For those seeking the ultimate in off-road dominance, the Raptor variant stands as the crown jewel of the Bronco lineup, with its awe-inspiring $91,730 price tag. This exclusive model is engineered to push the boundaries of what a production SUV can achieve. With a bespoke suspension system, advanced terrain management technologies, and a powerhouse of a powertrain that will leave even the most seasoned off-road enthusiasts marveling at its capabilities. What truly sets the 2025 Ford Bronco apart is its soul, and this trim delivers that exceptionally. It's not just about the impressive specifications or the cutting-edge technology, it's about the emotional connection it forges with its owners. In a world where cars are often seen as mere machines, the Bronco reminds us that some are born with a heartbeat, a spirit that transcends the boundaries of transportation. While rivals like the Jeep Wrangler and Toyota 4Runner vie for dominance, the Bronco sets itself apart with a unique blend of style, capability, and innovative engineering. It's a vehicle that refuses to be pigeonholed, adapting to your needs like a trusted companion, whether you're navigating the concrete jungle or scaling towery peaks. But there is one thing we always fixate upon when we buy a car – longevity and resale value. Because let's face it, that is an essential thing to have. And this thing has an estimated 5-year resale value of 66.7%. If you ask me, that is a respectable figure, especially considering everything the Bronco offers and its overall value. But how does it stack up against the competition? Competition. Let's make one thing clear. The competition is fierce, heating up day by day, and it's not slowing down anytime soon either. Just think about it. There is a Toyota Land Cruiser, the pinnacle of the time-tested Titans. This thing is kind of like the opposite of the Bronco. Its reputation for durability and dependability has been forged over decades of navigating the harshest environments. From the scorching deserts of the Middle East to the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas, the Land Cruiser boasts superior resale value and a robust engine that delivers raw power, a true force to be reckoned with. 
there is no way that the Bronco can deliver this kind of reliability and resale value. However, the Bronco counters with a more accessible price point and fuel efficiency that speak to both your wallet and your environmental consciousness. But then there's the Jeep Wrangler, an icon in its own right, a vehicle synonymous with off-road prowess. It shares with the Bronco a spirit unbound by roads less traveled. The Wrangler's legacy stretches back to its military origins, and it has long been the go-to choice for those seeking a rugged, authentic off-road experience. Its iconic design and uncompromising capability have made it a favorite among outdoor enthusiasts, overlanders, and those who relish the freedom of the open trail. But just like the Bronco, this thing has its fair share of issues. One area where the Wrangler's capabilities fall short is in its cargo carrying capacity. Plus, the amazing off-road power of the Wrangler comes with some trade-offs. The Wrangler's steering can feel slow and somewhat loose, especially at highway speeds. This can make the vehicle feel less precise and responsive than its more road-orientated counterparts, which may be a concern for those who spend a significant amount of time navigating crowded urban environments or long stretches of interstate. Additionally, the Wrangler's rugged design and construction result in a symphony of wind and tire noise that can become quite pronounced on the highway, serving as a constant reminder of the vehicle's untamed nature. But in my opinion, that is not even the main issue. I mean, have you heard of the death wobble? Yeah, this thing has a problem so profound and famous that it has its own name. Say what you will about the Bronco and its 45,000 recalls, but it is better than the Wrangler in this regard. And let's face it, the Wrangler is not that different either. It has seen recalls, some related to fire risks associated with the electrified models, and it doesn't take a genius to see that this is a serious issue. And in my opinion, the Bronco is the better choice. After all, it's all about being better than its rivals. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.